what up what up youtube reptile lovers we are back at it with another video if you are new to the channel go ahead and hit that good old subscribe button down below if you've been rocking with your boy loving these videos smash that like and let's get this started let's get it started we got elijah here y'all we got elijah representing the shirt Represent the shirt. You know, I had to. Yeah, you had came, to since I was stopping by. Came on out today, dropped me off a special delivery, and uh, brought some uh, some specimens here today. Elijah, tell us what we got going on here and show us what you got because you sure have been into some new things, some new things. Yeah, so since I moved to Arizona, uh, we have very lenient laws when it comes to native species of venomous snakes. So. Arizona is actually the highest condensement of rattlesnake species in the world. We have 13 species in Arizona, um, 17 if you include subspecies. And there's no, there's not that many species of rattlesnakes in the, such a secluded or such a condensed area anywhere else in the world. So you go to Mexico, they may have like five species. You may go to California, they may have the same, but to have double digits is pretty crazy for one single state. Yeah. So, here I've got um, two separate species. Uh, this one in here is a female Great Basin rattlesnake. And then this one is a male Panamint rattlesnake. Uh, so I unfortunately left their water bowls in there a little bit too full. So I had to pull them out to just clean them, put them on some fresh dry paper towels and figured when I do that, why not? Show them off to you guys. Yeah, yeah. So I'm definitely blown away by this. So go ahead and pull them out. Alright. So do this. Ah, there you go. Y'all hear so that? That she the rattle's a little bit uh dull sounding because come in a little closer. Um, so people can see this. Because she got sprayed uh, with water accidentally when she moved. So, yes. just gonna use these tongs. Just gonna pick her up. Very sweet. Very nice, very nice. Yeah, so. She's, uh, they're not usually this vocal, quote unquote. Usually they're a little bit more mild than she is, but. She's still a really, really good looking one. The Great Basins kind of lose pattern and get more of like a yellow, like beige kind of look to them, sometimes blue. But they're honestly one of the cooler looking Crotalis that are out there. I'm loving this rattle, yo. Oh, I'm yeah. Getting, I can't, a little bit louder when I think it's I'm not addicted loud. to that. I think I'm addicted. I, I think I'm addicted. <laughs> I think I like that. Let me shut up, y'all. Let me stop. <laughs> Let me stop. Ah, all right. Woo! Yeah, so let me just put this on here real quick. Um, I like to use tongs versus hooks because you kind of run into a little bit more problems with hooks rather than what you do with tongs. And I feel like it, I do a lot of snake calls and snake removals. And most of the time you just have to go in there and just grab the snake, put it in the bucket just to get it out of there, get it away from people. I'm just going to wipe this down real quick. Yeah, I'm, I'm just mind blown right now. This, you know, they're, they're honestly I believe, really <clears throat> easy going snakes. I mean, they're, they fit a really niche role in their ecosystem. They're actually predators and prey. Um, the rattle was actually evolved for hoof stock so that cows and horses would not step on them. It wasn't for majorly like hawks or anything like that because they really, really trust in their camouflage. Mm -hmm. They will, I've seen them, I've had many stories of people stepping on them and they don't even rattle. Mm -mm. I have many stories of people just standing still and they'll pass right in front of them, you know. Uh, we have a lot of, we have some people that say that rattlesnakes are chickens because they, they don't want to be involved with any confrontation. They just want to be left alone. They just want to do their own thing. So I just wanted to dry that out a little bit. Mm -hmm. And now we'll put her back and 
and we can show off the other one that I have here. So these two mark Come closer six, to uh, six rattlesnakes that I have in total now. I think I'm loving this, y'all. I <laughs> love that rattle. Oh, yes, I know. Who told me about you? Hey. Oh, I know. I get it. What? You see that thing straight? Close that damn thing up. <laughs> oh, I know, I know, I know, I know. I felt that. Hey. Easy, sweetheart. You're fine. Like I said, pretty dope. <laughs> pretty like dope. Pretty dope. Pretty dope. Basins are a little bit more lax. Yeah, we we step on that when we getting bitten. <laughs> yeah, we <laughs> are anywhere so, close to that. We've got this guy here. He's a little bit more chill. So he's kind of like more of like a caramely kind of color. Okay. Woo. Here, I'll move her over. Chill there. Yeah, he's a little nice, no rattling. Very nice. So yeah, this is a, a Panama rattlesnake. <laughs> Let me see the camera so we can get a little. Sorry, y'all. We got the very nice here. Don't get too get too close. Yeah, this one's a male. Beautiful, beautiful. These guys come from Southern Nevada, uh, Central California. All right, all right, Eliza. Why why rattlesnakes? Well, you know they're very interesting. You know you see like the rattle evolved to look and sound the way it does for that specific reason mm -hmm. the funny thing is is that it's actually a viper trait so if you go to asia if you go to south america and you see any of those larger vipers one of the first things they'll do once they feel threatened is they'll start rattling their tail mm -hmm. and they don't even have a rattle it's actually just the tip of their tail so it was really interesting with rattlesnakes that they took that even a step further and actually evolved the rattle. Because it's actually, it's not like maracas where it's, you know, an object with little tiny little counterparts making the noise in there. Mm -hmm. It's actually keratin, the same thing our fingernails is, are made of, that are in interlocking segments that um, make sound when they the muscle of the tail shakes it back and forth. Yeah. The funny thing is, is that if you're given a rattlesnake's rattle and you rattle it it doesn't sound like how it does from when the snake does it because the muscles in the tail are so acute and so powerful you'll never be able to shake it as fast as they do when they are um, warding off something gotcha so you can try your hardest but it will never sound mm. the same as when the snake does it that's why when people when you see people in videos trying to Mm -hmm. Shake a rattle, it sounds nothing like it. It's you have, you have to really see it in slow motion. It's just really tiny, acute movements back and forth that send this. the interlocking uh, um, pattern up the rattle. Yeah. So they're they're just very interesting animals, and like I was saying, with them being very niche, I mean, you have larger vipers out there in South America, mm -hmm. once they hit a certain size, they don't really have any predators at that point. You know, even defending themselves, they can easily kill, you know, an aggressor in a, in a few minutes. But these guys, they are preyed upon by bobcats, birds of prey, coyotes, bears. Like, they, they get eaten almost as much as they do the eating of rodents. Gotcha. So some species of rattlesnakes will eat smaller lizards, but they're honestly more of just a true rodent control. So like the field mice, the kangaroo rats, pack mm -hmm. rats when they're smaller, stuff like that. That's what these guys mainly eat. When they're born, they're super small. So that's when they usually will eat like insects or not really insects. They'll eat um, 
you know, smaller amphibians and other smaller reptiles. Mm -hmm. And as they get older, they go almost fully to rodents. Yeah. Notice, guys, I'm keeping my eye on this damn thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. My eyes are really not trying to leave off of now, you know, when he has his top not screwed on here. But uh, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, they're, they're amazing snakes. So they're, the variety, the different amount of species there are. You know, they're kind of specific to North North America. Like they're mm -hmm. North America's vipers. You know, there are South American rattlesnake species, but they're pretty much the true, like, most variable vipers we have. Like, we have the cotton mouse, the cotton mm -hmm. hopper heads uh, down south. But rattlesnakes, they're, they're just a lot more unique in my um. mind. You plan on in uh, working on anything else uh, other than rattlesnakes? No. Uh, so good. I'm. Yeah, I think that's... I'm a real big stickler for following the laws. You know, you don't want. Yeah. You don't want to step outside or publicize that you're doing something illegal in a certain state. You know. Um, I want to just follow the rules, and the rules are pretty lax. You give us pretty much. There's only five protected species of rattlesnakes in Arizona. Everything else you're allowed to keep. Yeah. So they pretty much give you a good, good leniency with uh, the variety of venomous that you can keep out there. And honestly, they may all be venomous. They may all have their different, you know, compounds and different kinds of venom. Mm -hmm. But a rattlesnake will never act like how a cobra does. Like how he was on the floor and <coughs> I was just hanging out and we were just, I was slowly watching him. You no, would, you wouldn't. Yeah, you wouldn't be having that with a forest cobra. No, because I wouldn't even be in the room. Yeah. We, we wouldn't even be doing the video. Yeah. You know? <laughs> or, you I know. set the stand up in the video and I would let you do this, the door closed. And, you know, the most of the legal uh, legality of it co coincides with the native species because hospitals want to carry anti-venom for native species. Mm -hmm. You know, for if people are owning... X amount of different various species of venomous snakes all across the U.S., then every hospital would need to have that much anti-venom. And that takes up a lot of space in a hospital, and that's just another thing to inventory. So most of it's like, all right, these are to our region. The hospital will keep anti-venom for that state. Mm -hmm. um, but if you get bit by a king cobra, you're, yes. you're pretty that, much out of luck. That part, that part. <laughs> There's no anti-venom okay. for that. The anti-venom that you use for... Um, rattlesnakes is not going to do anything against anti-venom that you're going to need for a king cobra. Gotcha. So, for the people on here, mm -hmm. if you were to get bitten by one of these, what so would happen? What, the effects? Yes. And all that? Yeah. Tell so us it that. it depends on the rattlesnake. Most rattlesnakes are going to have a hemotoxic venom mm -hmm. that's going to attack your blood, pretty mm -hmm. much make you coagulate, it's going to make it hard to pass through arteries and veins. You pretty much go into paralysis and cardiac arrest. Um, there are other different kinds of venom. The most popular for rattlesnakes is the hemotoxin. Uh, there is a species called the Mojave rattlesnake. Mm -hmm. They actually have a two-in-one venom. They have a hemotoxic cytotoxic venom, so it does two-in-one. So pretty much it attacks your blood and melts your skin, uh, in a <laughs> sense. And there's definitely other ones, usually the older world vipers, especially in Africa, like the gaboons, those are going to be your cytotoxic venoms. Yeah. Um, and then you're going to have, like Australia is going to be hemotoxic and neurotoxic. Yeah. And there, there are other rattlesnakes um, that vary as well. They have an natural onto change in their venom usually when they're babies the it's not that they're more venomous that's another mm. myth usually is people will tell you baby scorpions and baby rattlesnakes are more venomous than the adults and that's actually not the case the case is that the venom for a young one needs to be more effective it needs to be able to bring that prey down in a short amount of time because a baby can't afford to lose a meal. Yeah. An adult can. Definitely. So the baby is more quick, 
quick response or quick reacting venom that's made for smaller lizards and smaller rodents. Then as they get older, that venom kind of dilutes itself out and is able to just take down mice, like smaller mammals, things like that. There is a rattlesnake actually that has a certain venom makeup that makes it really, um, really good at um, breaking down and destroying fungal diseases. Mm -hmm. So oh, that's actually sad. being uh, researched right now for, um, I think it was athlete's foot. Oh, wow. Is going to be the research? You know, there's a reason that um, on the medical staff, there's two snakes. Yeah. You know, if you ever noticed that. And the reason there's two snakes on that medical symbol mm. for hospitals is because the snake is the venom and the anti-venom. Yeah. So it's it's two in one. It's the one that delivers, but it's also the one that heals. So that's a little fun fact why if you know why there's two snakes on the, um, the medical staff now. Gotcha, gotcha. All right, what are we, uh, and what are we feeding these two right now? So these guys, um, she's on unscented mice now. So she's just gonna eat normal mice. Unscented. Yeah. The scented uh, is uh, with kangaroo rats which are just a native species, a smaller rodent that comes from Southern Nevada and Arizona. Uh -huh. And that's one of their preferred um, meals. They do eat like pack rats and stuff like that, other species of rodent. Uh, but pack rats get huge when they get older. So they eat smaller ones. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, they don't gotcha. dig. Like rattlesnakes can't, can't yeah. dig their own burrows, so they use dormant burrows of other animals. Gotcha. Or any other mm -hmm. spots and areas up under stuff. Yeah. Yeah, we already know what it is. Well, uh, this was quite interesting. Um, I'm, I'm still very much keeping my eye on this on this guy over here. Yeah, um, very them, nice. Them in here and yes, very up. nice. Coming in a little closer, you check this out. This one's actually, we were, me and Elijah was talking about this one. This one, he could probably freehand, although it wouldn't be, wouldn't be smart. Yeah, free handling. But uh, uh, you may. This one is really I, nice. I won't deny that there are snakes out there that you can free handle. You know, there are just some venomous snakes that happen to be really chill and wet and really um very chill just very snake. nice. But the thing is, is that you always run the risk of it. You know, if you get bit by an anaconda, you know, I'll tell you from experience. Yeah. It hurts, but this guy would gonna, know. <laughs> it's not gonna put you in the hospital, Come you on. know. So we've got um, we've actually got a lot of a lot of these uh, nowadays out in the out in the field. I'm getting a lot on snake calls. Yeah. The very nice, very interesting. Very nice. I don't want to get too damn close. Get too damn friendly here. Whew. All right, you guys. I know we have been, Elijah has been talking, and I have just been soaking all of this in. But we are going to go ahead and uh, conclude this. In, I said conclude. Yeah, in this video, okay, um, I'm still very much taken by what Elijah is into these days. Very nice. The camera woman here doesn't want to get too close, so. We're going to have to take over here. All righty, Eliza. I appreciate you coming on through. Of course. Bring in. How many uh, you have now, total rattlesnakes? Uh, this is six. Oh, wow. Six, <laughs> and I still need about two to three more species. I still need my Arizona blacks, and I still need my Arizona black tails. Um, then I want more white specks. I have um, white specks... Uh, they were a subspecies of these, or these were a subspecies of speckled rattlesnake. Yeah. Um, but they're all white. They look like white granite. Yeah, I think. And uh, those ones, uh, I have a female now. I think it's a female. I have to double check the, the gender on it. But very I need, nice. Uh, at least like one or two, maybe four more of those. Gotcha. Of those, specs. those things are gorgeous. Yes, sir. All right. All right. 
All right, y'all. Don't forget, we, uh, yeah. I don't even know. I'm trying to get my words here together. Um, again, <laughs> don't forget, follow your boy on IG, Goldens underscore, Constrictors with a K underscore, and I just hit 3K on IG just earlier today. So, Congrats, man. Yeah, I just, uh, shit's been popping on my IG lately. Uh, your video of you getting bitten by <laughs> my Q was doing good. <laughs> I'll have no other way. Yeah, <laughs> that, they loving that right now. So uh, shout out to everybody on my, on my, all the new followers on my IG, and all the new uh, subscribers on uh, on YouTube here. I'm almost almost at 20k here as well. So we getting there. We working. We working. You wanna throw out your IG, Elijah? Just alcoholic kaiju, and no underscores, nothing like that. Yeah, get this man to follow y'all if y'all wanna see this, okay? This man got a lot going on. Not just this gators and crocodiles and uh, a lot, a lot. He has a lot going on. Oh yeah, always. Check him out, y'all. But until next time, we are out. Peace.